Hey guys, I just got back from a walk, so I look glowy, dewy, right? I figured since I was talking about body image, naturally self-care is a part of that, like taking care of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally. So I thought I would show you a simple routine that I do generally on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday, and today is Tuesday, just as like a midweek pick me up um, so I can feel good about myself and feel like I'm taking care of myself and paying attention to what I need. The first thing I usually do, well I do this every day, at least that's the habit that I want to build, is go outside for a walk. I walk my dog. It's really hot out these days and I love that because I really love to like sweat and like help my body release anything that's like blocking my pores or any toxins that are building up. So that's like the first thing that I do to start my day. Usually I'll just like hop in the shower and then get to work but I'm gonna take a little extra time and so I wanted to show you guys a few things. I'm gonna do a short hair refresh, do a little skincare, a little a shave, and I'll do some nail care as well, and um, yeah. You guys, this is the before of my hair. It was severely neglected in that bun for just a little bit too long. I'm mildly ashamed of that. Uh, I also have a pimple friend right down the middle of my forehead in the spot that reflects the most light. So um, that's what I'm dealing with today. This is a nice little honest, vulnerable before shot for you. Hey. Um, here I am. Probably the sound is not the best, but I normally do this stuff in the shower, so I usually like will wash my face and everything while the conditioner is in my hair. But I wanted to show you, so I'm going to do it outside of the shower. I usually will exfoliate like once a week. I'm pretty gentle with my skin. I don't switch up products very often. Yeah, I try to keep it simple and I try to keep it pretty gentle and so I only exfoliate once a week with this right here because it's a chemical and physical exfoliant but I found that that helps my skin look really beautiful and really glowy like that much. It really spreads out. Just gently rub it. Nothing vigorous. I like to put it on my lips. I really get like corners of my nose because I have combination skin and so I have certain areas that get really flaky. All right, I'm gonna rinse it. So after I exfoliate, I cleanse this busted Cetaphil. Seriously, it's broken at the top. That's what I use, just a little bit. Wet my hands a little bit. My face is still damp. I didn't clean it off completely. I'm just kind of help this deep cleanse my skin. I have a couple of pimple friends that emerged on my face recently, probably just because I was out of town and eating food that I don't normally eat. <laughs> um, next, I put on a thin jelly hydration system. But once I'm out of it completely, I'm probably not going to get it again. But I got it for Christmas, so I use it until it's gone. But it's very, like, it's really watery, like you can barely see it in my hand. I like to use one thin moisturizer to really get in my pores. And then I use one thick moisturizer to lock it all in. And so I want to make sure that it's able to heal itself. And stay nice and plump and moisture is the best way to do that. Lastly, like I talked about, I do a thicker moisturizer. This is how thick it is in comparison. It's actually an overnight mask. And what I learned recently is that overnight masks are really just thick moisturizer. Because if anything had ingredients in it that were going to be like active and potent and stuff, then they wouldn't be it wouldn't be good to leave them on your skin for eight hours 
10 hours, you know, because like masks usually leave them on for like 5 to 20 minutes depending on what it is and like obviously that's much shorter of a time. It's just something I've learned along the way. So I use a nice, it's an overnight mask, but really it's just a thick moisturizer. Hello, I'm out of the bathroom now. Um, my video cut off, but here I am. <laughs> uh, that was the last step in my routine anyway. So I figured I would move on to the next part of the routine, which is usually like I do my nails and then I do my makeup. So here's what they are looking like at the moment. Pretty good, actually. They're kind of in recovery. I'll insert some clips of my nails like a couple weeks ago because they didn't look as good as this. Granted, that right now they're wet. Yeah, but this is how they look right now. <laughs> Pretty nice looking in general. They still have a little bit of residual shine left from my manicure that I gave myself using bare hands. Ooh. A few weeks ago, my new friend Suzanne launched her product. It is basically a nail buffing nail care system. So it comes in this beautiful case and it closes up like that. Here we have the buffer nicely tucked away. It's so pretty. Like it is gorgeous. It's called the Moonstone Nail Polisher. And then it also comes with a cuticle oil. The cuticle oil has been saving my life. You guys know that I'm an artist and I'm constantly using my hands and I've always wanted to keep my nails looking nice but never really had a way to do that that went well with my routine because obviously like I do my hair, I do my makeup, I do all of it and I really hate waiting for my nails to dry. <laughs> I not only have a way to keep my nails looking beautiful without any sort of like toxic chemicals and solvents and all those sorts of things that dry out your nails and make them brittle and weak, I also get the benefit of not having a wait time for my nails to dry. And so this is really cool for me, primarily because of those reasons. <laughs> and also it's very calming and very meditative to buff your nails. I'm finding in doing this, like you can just turn on some music, put on a show, whatever you're doing, and just gently buff your nails into the most beautiful, shiny manicure ever. And it lasts all week, so I only have to do it every time I do one of my routines, whether it's in the middle of the week to do my self-care pick-me-up, or if it's, I'm like getting weighed down by my towel, <laughs> or if it's, you know, on Sunday when I do like my huge self-care routine because that's my day off, I don't do any work on that day. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Definitely go follow Suzanne at Bury Your Hands on Instagram. She has such a beautiful account. It's so aesthetically pleasing. It just is soothing to look at the art and the photography on her page. It's so pretty. And um, she gives you all sorts of tips and tricks and things like that to keep your nails looking natural and healthy and strong as well as she tends to share people who have a like-minded view on nail care and body care in general having it be more of a elevated part of your routine not just something that you just throw around and like knock it out and do mindlessly but really taking it as something that is a gentle self-love self-accepting kind of process that's my spiel. That's all I want to tell you about that. So I just finished my nails. They're looking so pretty and shiny and healthy. And I'm going to do my hair now. Hmm. Well, there she is. Looking much better. She feels so much softer. I feel like I kind of want a middle part today. So I washed it. I shampooed. I conditioned it. And I left a little bit of conditioner in. I'm going to add some leave-in conditioner to my hair. Sorry if I keep looking downward. I have a mirror. But yeah, I use this leave-in conditioner from Shea Moisture. It's a really thin consistency, which I love for my hair because I have low porosity hair. 
and so a thinner consistency is really going to seep into my cuticle much more easily than something that is too thick and will just like sit on top of my hair. I also detangled my hair in the shower a little bit. I'm gonna separate this chunk with a, <laughs> with a hair tie. I'm going to put some leave-in conditioner in. This is probably the most important step because it's going to give my hair the most moisture and help my hair retain everything. So I'm gonna put that especially in the front and then this crown area because those are the first places that tend to dry out for me. So I want them to be really saturated and sometimes I'll like squeeze it in. I always feel like that gets the product like into my hair more easily. I'm gonna split it open, apply some product in the middle. I think I have 3C and 4A hair. Most of the 3 hair is down here. And then a lot of the four hair is up at the top here in the crown. But that's really not super important to me, um, what curl type I have. Now I'm more concerned about how my hair holds on and retains moisture more than anything. That has more to do with porosity and less to do with curl type. I try and keep that in mind when picking products because Porosity is really what's going to affect the way your hair absorbs product and water. And what's most important when it comes to hair is that it's healthy. It doesn't matter how long it is or how short, how kinky, how ringlet-like, ringlety. None of that matters if your hair is damaged and dry. And so yeah, this is the shape that it makes. You know, and maybe I only have type 3 hair. I always thought I had some type 4 hair, but my hair might, do, might have just been dry. Well, this hair in the back is type 4. It's 4A. Four but And here in the front, my curls are really tiny. You can kind of see that. And I think that's A. 4A. But underneath, I wore a lightly colored shirt so you can see this. But underneath, it's very large ringlets in comparison to that and it's definitely kind of an S shape as well. Eco Styler, this guy. I like gel casts. I think that they help me know that my hair is really sealed and the moisture is locked in. So I don't worry too much about how much gel I end up using. I just kind of smooth it on and this will help elongate my curls. I think I'm gonna do like four sections on each side, so a total of like eight sections. When I first started wearing my hair curly, I really had like the longest wash day routine ever. I think it took like five hours. I was not into that anymore. <laughs> I use detangling tools and I go swimming and I <laughs> I like do all of this stuff that I felt like I couldn't do when I was first natural and it was just as restricting for me as when I wasn't natural. Just find that kind of interesting. Thought I'd share it with you. I'm gonna go ahead and finish all of this up and I'll show you the final results when I'm done. Hello. So I'm just working on the last piece. And there we go. I'm gonna combine things in the back and just let this air dry. I'm just gonna scrunch up the back a little. That's basically it for my hair. And I, I think that's all I wanted to show you guys with my routine skin, nails, and hair. I wanted you to know that taking care of your body is an act of self-love and so taking the time to do your hair, do your nails, shave if that's your preference, all those sorts of things and keeping yourself physically maintained in a way that makes my dog. 
in a way that makes you feel the most beautiful. It might not look exactly like what I do. I always feel better in my creative life, in my social life, if I'm taking care of my body. So that's it for this video. I will talk to you very soon. Bye.